In 2022, the FWC announced that Florida passed 1 million registered recreational vehicles on the water, continuing to lead the country in that category. In that reinforcing, the Sunshine State is the boating capital of the world. But now, a new kind of boat wants to join the fun in the sun. In this week's Technically Speaking report, Gio Insignares introduces us to an international company hoping to change the way you set sail. Boats are a way of life in South Florida. Candela, a Sweden-based startup, wants to turn places like Miami into a hub for a new future of water transportation. The company is introducing its newest electric-powered boat to the Sunshine State. Our goal was to make an electric boat, but in order to make an electric boat that is actually usable, then you need to make it hydrofoil. A hydrofoil is a wing or fin attached underwater that is made to lift a moving boat, giving it greater speed and fuel efficiency. It reduces drag. Also making the boat more environmentally friendly. The whole idea is you take the hull out of the water because that dramatically reduces the drag. So then instead you only have the wings in the water and that cuts the energy consumption by 80%. Ready to go. From Miami Beach Marina, we got a chance to ride on the Candela C8 and take a look at the technology firsthand. When we want to take off, you just point straight and then you give full throttle. And then you'll feel that around 12 knots, the boat will start to lift off and then 16 knots you're flying. And you'll notice while the boat is flying and in the air, you can hear everything I'm saying a lot more normal than you would if you were in a traditional boat. And one more thing, look behind us and notice the wake left behind in this boat versus a more traditional one. While on the water, the boat is controlled by the flight controller, a computer that sits in the center of the boat. No noise and, it's, and no, no slamming of waves. The whole boat is above the water. Using artificial intelligence and sensors, it adjusts the boat based on waves, wind, location, and other factors as they happen. The boat can reach a top speed of 30 knots, while the range is an estimated 57 miles at 22 knots on a single charge, according to the company. It's a smooth ride, certainly not cheap either. Prices for the C8 are listed on the company's website, starting at $395,000. We hope this will be a dawn of a new era where we replace all the fossil fuels with electric flying boats. Call that broker. Huh? Candela yeah. has already teamed up with the University of Miami Rosensteel School of Marine, Atmospheric and Earth Science to deliver them a flying electric research vehicle. The company also plans to launch a shuttle ferry in Stockholm that's meant as a new form of public transportation. Just repeat one more time for people in the back. Three hundred and ninety five. Three hundred and ninety five. I, I actually almost can I confuse myself yeah. because there's a different model of that boat with I think a more efficient battery that starts at four fifty. Oh okay. So it was easily like you know but just we, an extra right. we, yeah, we, yeah, it's just, I mean, <laughs> that we do know that's right. Not expensive for boat buyers, right? Well, like, well if you're thinking about that, that, right, right. <laughs> sure. Yeah, right. You're you know right. I mean? It's all relative. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. like for cars, absolutely. Not yeah. for boats. Yeah, no, I thought it was it was so interesting to ride I in it because it didn't it. feel like anything wildly. Yeah, I was like, going to say, the fundamental as a boat. I'm not right. a boating person, right. but I just got in there. I'm like, this this yeah, feels this, great. This, you know? okay. It really did feel like a magic carpet ride. Like we're going in that direction. It's happening. There you go. Of course, to make the magic boating, the best boating experience happen, you need to forecast a quad. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. 